Okay guys, the final API is to delete a video from the database. So again, let's continue in api.js and I'm going to say router.delete. So when you want to delete a video, we make a delete request. So router.delete, the first argument again is going to be video slash colon ID. So we are going to again delete a video using its ID. The second argument is again a function that gives us access to the request and response. So request and response. Now over here within the pair of curly braces, we are going to say console.log deleting a video. And then we're going to get a hold of the video model and Mongoose provides another method, find by ID and remove. Now again, over here, the first argument is the ID of the video in Mongo database. So request.params.id. Now this ID, again, is the same ID that was passed as part of the URL. Now the second argument is going to be a function that is going to give either an error or the deleted video. So within the pair of curly braces, we're going to say if there is an error, we are going to say response.send error deleting video. And if there was no error, so else, we're going to response.json the deleted video. All right, so that pretty much does it for the delete API. Let me go over this one more time. So we make a delete request in order to delete a video and we pass in the ID of the video. And then we're going to console.log deleting a video. And then we're going to use the find by ID and remove method that Mongoose provides on this video model. And we pass in the ID, which was passed as part of the URL. And then in the second argument, we have a function that gives us an error or the deleted video. So if there was an error, we are going to just send error deleting video. If there was no error, we are going to send back the deleted video. All right, let me restart the server and then we can go ahead and test this in Postman. So node server, and then let's go to Postman, open a new tab, click on delete, and then it is going to be localhost 3000 slash API slash video. And we need to pass in the ID. Now this is going to be the same ID that we have worked with in the last two videos. So I'm going to enter the ID and click on send. And this is going to delete this particular video. So updated description, updated URL and updated title. So let me go back to the first tab, which makes a get request. So we still have this. I'm going to click on send again and we should have that no more. So we just have one, two, three and the fourth video. And I'm not really sure how this fourth video made it over here. So I'm going to delete this anyway. So let's try it again. Send it. And this was the video that was deleted. So when I make a get request, I should have just the three videos which were inserted in our initial MongoDB setup. So that is how you create a delete API. So Hopefully you understood how to perform create, read, update, and delete operations with MongoDB and Express using Mongoose. And hopefully you also learned how to make use of Postman to test any API. In the next video, let's get started with our Angular application. Thank you guys for, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.